Hello, Gemini. I missed you guys. Gemini, happy Thursday to you. It's almost weekend time. I'm so excited for us. Gemini, I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Gemini. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Gemini, very important message, extra message over here. Ooh. You feel like your serious relationship that you have with your soulmate is on hold. This is you trying to look more objectively at your relationship with your soulmate and figure out where this is truly heading. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You feel that they're not meeting you halfway. You don't feel fulfilled in this relationship. Because they're only showing up as a knight. They're not showing up as a king or queen. Yeah, you feel they're very slow to action. Yeah, you feel frustrated emotionally. Yeah, you, you've been through a lot of roller coasters, emotional roller coasters with this person. Yeah, you view them as very slow to action, not consistent, not reliable. Yeah, you are tired. Yeah, you feel drained. You feel unappreciated. You guys are together. <clears throat> this is a serious relationship. So it's not going to be that easy to walk away. It looks like uh, you are either married or living together and kids are involved for some of you. Yeah, this is a serious relationship. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Gemini? And how is Gemini? A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian and Taurus. Hmm. What's coming up for Gemini? And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? And Pisces as well. You love this person though. You do. You do love them, obviously. Yeah. But you feel that this needs to greatly improve or you need to let them go even though you do love them. Yeah. Yeah, you feel that there needs to be some drastic change here for this to work out. Yeah. Yeah, both of you are frustrated. Chariot showing up twice. So this person is just as frustrated, but I think they are frustrated more with themselves. Hmm. Yeah. This is the only way to truly communicate, face-to-face -face communication, to resolve any issues, misunderstandings. Um, this is what's needed. Face-to-face, -face open line of communication. None of that emailing nonsense, text messaging nonsense, or FaceTiming nonsense. No. Face-to-face -face communication is the real way to resolve issues between people. But both parties need to be honest. Put things on the table. No mind games. Yeah. You are quiet right now. You really are going within, reflecting to make a wise decision, even though you love them. Uh, you don't want to be swayed by your emotions. You want to make your final decision based on your sound judgment and logic. Yeah. You still love this person. You're still holding on to some kind of hope that this is going to change, improve. Yeah, you are so different from them in relationships. Yeah, they are a knight. You are a queen, mature, whether you're male or female. 
you are frustrated because they're not meeting you halfway. You feel like you have to babysit this person. You are frustrated. You are drained. You are exhausted. You feel unappreciated, unloved. Yeah. You're trying to be strong. You're trying to be resilient. But you realize that if nothing solid happens here, that you're going to have to let go. Yeah, you can't continue with this kind of energy between you two. Yeah, that's how you view it, based on their behavior towards you. Mm. You know, please show us what's coming up for Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing on the summit journey? Wow, there's a lot of love between you two. Ten of Cups showing up twice. <coughs> for those of them... Uh, for those of you and them that are having family together, like have kids together, you really are trying to stay for the kids. But remember this, kids suffer when they see, the kids sense things, they are not stupid. Kids can tell from a young age that something is way off in the family. I was one of those kids. I could tell when I was six years old that there was something off between my parents and even though I was so young and didn't understand what uh, grown-up relationships were about, I was smart enough to tell that something is not right and I felt so uncomfortable. And when they finally separated and got a divorce, I was so relieved that they did. <laughs> it was the best day for me because there was so much tension, negativity. And as a child, you feel it. You pick it up. Yeah, and it affects you emotionally. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're trying to do the right thing here. That's the bottom line is uh, showing up here. Yeah, you're trying to stick with it, but you know if this doesn't improve significantly, you're going to have to let them go. Yeah, you're scared of leaving, though, for various reasons. Um, changes are scary, right? Especially when you've been with someone for so long or have family with them, young kids, whatever, whatnot. Of course, it's scary. But you're going to have to make a list, like a mental list of pros and cons and make your decision based on that list. Um, yeah, you're going to have to make that decision because you seem unhappy in this relationship. And uh, it's, it doesn't make sense to stay in miserable relationship where you feel unloved, unappreciated. Yeah, let's see what's going on with that soulmate of yours. You know, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? And how is the soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? They're not happy. They're very unhappy because Three of Cups is reversed. Now, Three of Cups happens to be my favorite card when it comes to Cups cards, but it's reversed, which is not good. So this person feels what you feel. They feel that something is off, that it's not working out. They're not happy the way this relationship between you two is going. They're not happy. No. Yeah, they don't, they don't feel strong enough. Uh, look at this. It's like they're giving up. They're depressed. They're sad. They're giving up. Strength card is reversed. That's not good. No. They love you a lot, though, but they don't have hope that this is going to improve. Like, this person is given up prematurely. They, they, they feel down emotionally, but they love you deeply because the Ace of Cups is right side up. So this person is in love with you. They love you. Yeah, they do. They want for this to work out, but they it's like they don't put forth effort into this. It's like they gave up already, uh, yet they're hoping. So the problem with this person is that they don't put forth effort to prove themselves to you, yet they're hoping, wishing for some miracle to happen so this improves. No, they need to put work into this, just like you do. So you need both people uh, working, communicating effectively, expressing emotions, uh, stating uh, solid uh, concerns. You see, you can't just uh, sit there uh, waiting for things to happen on its own. No, 
they need to start putting work into it, communicating with you effectively, openly. Yeah, so they don't want to lose you because they love you. You guys have such karma to resolve from past lifetimes. Hmm. Meaning you have soul contracts from past lifetimes that the two of you would be in a relationship again in this lifetime to learn from each other. So even if you, let's say, even if the two of you decide to completely split up and move on with your life separately, you're still going to see each other in future lifetimes. You are so connected spiritually on a soul level from other lifetimes. So this person wants to correct what was done wrong. They really want to see it work out, but they need to put work into it. They can't just wish it and poof, it happens. No, they need to communicate. They need to make a plan of action, what to do, how to go about it. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Gemini. And how's this soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? They worry that you're going to be with somebody else and somebody new is entering your life. Remember, Gemini, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with, right? We make decisions through our free will choices. And that includes who we want to marry, live with, what we want to do for a living, where we want to live, who we want to live with, right? You have free will to make those decisions. Um, there are some gossipers around you and your person that wants to come back to you. There are some gossipers. So be careful who you trust with your personal information, who you ask advice for. <clears throat> This person is surrounded by negative people, nosy people, yeah, who confuse them. This person needs to walk away from toxic people in their life, whoever they are, whether it's toxic friends or some relatives, people who are nosy, who interfere with other people's relationships, who gossip, who are negative. Yeah, this is not good. They are influenced by negative people, which is not good. No, they need to start thinking for themselves. Yeah, stop asking the wrong people for advice. Mm -hmm. They feel like they lost you. This person is depressed, heartbroken over you. They need to surround themselves with more positive people, not negative ones. Yeah, that's the downfall, that they are surrounded by negative people. Yeah, this person is so scared that this is it. It's over. This person blames themselves for losing you. So they see they've made some serious mistakes and they regret them. Beautiful. So this new soulmate is showing up as very mature. This happens to be my favorite king, king of pentacles. This person is mature, consistent, reliable, grounded. Somebody new entering your life. Doesn't mean you have to marry them or live with them. No, you can be friends with them or acquaintances. Another new person popping up here. So my two favorite kings showed up. New people entering your life. Interesting. People of quality. I like it. Stay away from gossipers, negative people, and jealous people. Yeah. Be careful who you call your friends. Oh boy. This person that wants to come back to you that's so feeling down is worried you're going to be with somebody else. Yeah. Look, they heartbroken, they quiet, they withdrawing. This is not good. They need to talk to someone who is of high vibration, who is positive. They need to stay away from these toxic people, whoever they are in their life. This person has so much negative energy around them and they can't see clearly what they need to do to get themselves out of this situation. Yeah, this person is surrounded by toxic people. Yeah, I stay away from toxic people. I, I'd rather be alone. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Gemini. And how's this soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? They missing you a lot, loving you, reminiscing of you, thinking of you, wanting a reunion with you. They view you as someone of high quality, someone who is a catch in a relationship. They have so much respect for you. They view us empress energy, whether you male or female. Yeah. 
they feel you are the one. They don't want anybody else. Yeah, you see, they're waiting to see what's going to happen, what you're going to do. Instead of waiting, they need to take action, really. We're going to go into your extended reading, Gemini, but we're going to ask about all soulmates that just popped up. The one that wants to come back to you for communication clarity and the new soulmates entering your life that showed up as King of Cups and King of Wands. So first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, king of pentacles, king of one's energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.